As President Obama tries to sell a strike on Syria to the American public, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad told Charlie Rose in a new interview he had nothing to do with the chemical attack and he'd retaliate should the U.S. strike. You should expect everything. You should expect everything. No, not necessarily through the government. That's perhaps a reference to his allies in Iran and Islamic militant group Hezbollah. Recent reports suggest Syria is coordinating with foreign fighters in Iran and Lebanon in the event of a U.S. strike. As for whether that could trigger chemical weapons use, here's what Assad had to say. It could happen, I don't know. We don't, I'm not fortune, fortune teller to tell you what's going to happen. Also during the interview, Assad told Rose there is no evidence he's responsible for the August 21st attack that left some 1,400 dead. Sure enough, over the weekend while on CNN, Obama's chief of staff, Dennis McDonough, insisted Assad was responsible, but conceded the White House didn't have evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. But as many pundits like Time Zeke Miller are pointing out, Assad's words could make him the most effective messenger for the White House. As MSNBC's Chuck Todd explains. It's a black and white and it's a little bit offensive to people, but do you want to be on Assad's side or our side? What Assad's doing today, I think, uh, uh, is going to help the president. Secretary of State John Kerry recently said there is one way Assad could bring an end to the crisis, that is, hand over his chemical weapons arsenal. Russia, too, has pushed for Assad to put any weapons under international control. But in his interview with Rose, the Syrian president refused to say whether he even had a stockpile. The full interview will air Monday night on PBS, the same night President Obama is set to make his case to the American people through a series of recorded interviews. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.